we're dealing with addition equations oh. and subtraction equations. And please don't let that confuse you. Addition equations have addition, addition and subtraction equations have. Okay. So they're going to be pretty basic, but then it gets, I throw you a little bit of, of a curveball because I want to give you this as a preview. Can you make an addition problem into a subtraction problem and vice versa? Can you do that? What's that little process we call? Stay change opposite, right? So really this lesson would be called solving one step addition equations or even solving one step subtraction equations. But let's make it easy on ourselves. All right, for addition equations, I put use the, wait, did I put, wait, yes, subtraction property of equality. Why in the world would I say that? Well, I don't even know what the subtraction property of equality is. So you don't have to rewrite that. I'm just going to give you the subtraction property of equality. Okay, if A equals B, does anyone remember what kind of mathematical statement that is? It is an equation. How do you know it's an equation? It has Same equal sign. It has an equal sign. Now, whether this is true or not, I don't know yet, but when you get an equation um, that isn't asking you true or false, you assume it's true. Okay, this is true, then, this is what I'm going to write, A minus C is equal to B minus C. Do you guys notice what happened here? We had an equation, and then I have another equation, and what did I do to both sides of this equation? I subtracted the same letter, which was, sorry, I don't know if it's like this or like this. Or, okay, okay, I subtracted C from both sides. And you're like, that's impossible. Do you guys remember who came up yesterday? Was it William and Philip? Okay, do you guys remember you, I don't know who was on whose side, which side, but let's say Philip and William. Okay, when I had them here, I was balanced, right? Do you rem remember when they had the books in their hands? What was Mr. A? He was, when they both had the books in their hands, he was balanced, right? And then I told the volunteers to take the books away. And what did Mr. A end up doing after he took? He stayed balanced. Why? Because we took the same thing from Philip as we did from William. So that's what we're talking about right here. Your goal in these problems is to keep things equal, which means keep things balanced. Like that's a, that's the key to these problems. Okay. So can you subtract the same thing from both sides? Yes you, yes, you can. And it could be any value, but it has to be from both sides to keep it equal, equality. All right, let's look at um, our first addition equation. Okay, here. Uh, somebody just read me the equation. Just read what it, how you would read this problem out. Hudson. 12.65 plus y equals 19.22. Okay, we're looking at two types of equations today. Guess what type this is? What is going on here? So it's an addition equation, right? And you can call it subtraction, but from what it looks like, it's addition. Okay, here's your goal on these problems. So please listen up carefully because I don't want you to be confused. Your goal is to tell me what y equals. And some of you are saying, <laughs> I already know what it equals. You just do this, this, done. Okay, that was impressive when? Fifth and sixth grade. Like, oh, cool. Oh, great. You got it. Good. But what's impressive now is if, can you show me through algebra using that property of equality that this y really does equal whatever you say it equals? Okay, so what you do is you look at your variable. What's our variable here? Y. Okay, now there are two sides of this equation. Do you see the right side? Do you see the left side? The y is on which side? Left. left. Does, is it always on the left? Yeah. No, it's okay. Whatever side it is, just pick that side. Okay, what is happening to y? It's being added with 12.65. And here's the million dollar question. What operation undoes addition? What undoes what addition does? Subtraction. Subtraction. So instead of adding, or I should say this, since there's adding going on, what can I do to undo the addition of 12.65? Subtract 12.65. But am I allowed to do that from only one side? Think of our book illustration. We took it from Philip. Is this balanced? Do you think this is comfortable? 
No. Please balance me out. What do I have to do to this side now? I need to take the same amount away. If I took 12.65 from the left side, guess what I take from the right side? 12.65. I take the same thing away. Now what happens to my balance beam? They're balanced. And that's what I want to keep. I want to maintain that. You're like, Mr. Hey, this seems like extra work. Right now it may seem kind of extra, but I'm telling you, um, actually, this is interesting, right? So will you catch this? During your inside break, some of you were, some of you in break were uh, playing outside. Some of you were throwing balls at each other. Some of you were goofing off, riding on the boards. And you know what people were doing in this room? They were doing math. And were they doing their homework? Some of them were. And some of them were just doing problems up here. I had my eighth grade, some eighth grade girls, they just came up and they were working out. And you know what they were doing? They were doing this process. You know why they did this process? Because this process always works. The process in the head sometimes worked. It did work. It doesn't work anymore as you get higher and higher. Thank you. Um, okay, what's 12.65 minus 12.65? Zero. Zero. Okay, does anyone know what property that is? Identity. Uh, not identity. What's a number? Inverse. Inverse property of addition. So this would equal zero right here, right? What's zero plus y? Y. Does anyone know what property that is? Zero plus y. Identity. Identity. Good. So you see, are we using properties here? Or were they just kind of like, I just want you to learn these things because um, I like making things hard. No, that's not what I was doing. We use them all the time. Now, what is 19.22 minus 12.65? I think, yeah, I got 6.57, so how do you know? Uh, you just work it out. Okay, so you're just subtracting here. So here I'll borrow, 7, borrow again, 5, 6, 6.57. 6.57. Now, I call 6.57 a solution. But does y really equal 6.57? Does it really equal that? And how do you know if it really equals that? Uh, Drew, do you have a question? Oh, uh, yes. I just subtracted 19.22 by 12.65 to start with, instead of putting it as a negative. Oh, like negative? That's I, I just did it as it is, and I just subtracted 19.22 minus 12.65 at the very beginning. Okay, so you subtracted from one side, right? Mm -hmm. Did you subtract from both sides? So what do you have right now? Answer. You have what Mr. A is doing very uncomfortably. Unbalanced. It's unbalanced. Now, Drew, honestly, you got the answer right. And it looks good, but technically, we want to use it algebraically now. And it's going to get harder later on. It's not that easy. Like, these are basic ones, like, let's start it up, and then it gets a little bit tougher. Okay, but I understand what you're saying. Don't feel bad. All right. But is this really my answer? I'm still uh, trying to ask that question. Is that really my answer? And if so, how do you know? And if not, sorry. How do I know that? Yes, Gracie? You would add like 6.57 plus 12.6. What's 12.65 plus 6.57? This is the solution. This is true. We would say this is true. Do you guys remember I asked you to say true or false? What do I know about this equation? True. True. So that's the answer. Okay, what I want you guys to do is I want you to see if you can work that process out with this problem right here. Go ahead and do that. Guys, I'm on swivel here. All right, um, do you guys see both sides here? What's the left side have? One fourth, good. What does the right side have? Uh, not just three eighths, m plus three eighths, right? It has just the whole thing. I want to get m by itself, right? So how do I do that? Well, what's happening to m already? 
It's being added with three eighths. What undoes adding of three eighths? Subtracting, subtracting three eighths. But do I just subtract three eighths from one side? If I want to keep it balanced, I got to do it from both sides. That's the whole point. Both sides. Like I'm gonna say both sides. You're gonna hear me say both sides uh, a few hundred times this year. Just a few. Three, four hundred times. I don't know. So you're making it negative. What um. Kinda like here, pl uh, positive three eighths minus three eighths is gonna get me. Well, what's three eighths minus three eighths? Zero. zero. What's m plus zero? M. m. Did I get the variable by itself on one side? Yes. Yes. That's the whole goal. And then, can you just subtract these the way they are? No. So what do you have to get? Uh, okay, you could you could do you could do uh, decimals, but you want to get common denominators, right? What's a common denominator? Three. Common denominator. Eight. Eight, so I make this two eighths minus three eighths. What would that give me? Negative Good, negative one eighth. Now, do you guys remember how we um, we we did problems of adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, fractions, decimals, whole numbers? You guys remember that first chapter? I did that just because I wanted to be mean to you guys, right? Mm -hmm. Or what was I really trying to do? Uh, Prep you up for this. Like this, hopefully, it should be like. More straightforward, I hope. I hope that's the goal. Is this the right answer, though? Yes. It looks good. Sorry, someone said it. Okay. What's negative one eighth plus three eighths? Two eighths. Ooh, two eighths, guys. Two eighths and one fourth. Simplify. Oh, it does work. This is the right answer. It has to be the right answer. Yes, sir. So did you just do um, three minus one, which got you two eighths, and just didn't mess with the denominators? No, I, I changed them to get common denominator, and then I did 2 minus 3, oh. and that's negative 1. Okay. Yep. Uh, can I ask you... You, or, get a you can always get a common denominator. Sometimes they're thankfully small like that, and sometimes they can be huge. So there's always a way to get a common denominator. Yeah, sometimes that's the case, yeah. But uh, don't worry too much about it. You'll get nice, easy ones. Okay, checking. I understand, and I was a seventh grader, eighth grader. I remember they told me to check, and I'd be like, yeah, sure, whatever. Maybe I'll check. Mentally, I can check. Okay, in Algebra 1, their last two tests, which one of them is up there, I told them, work out your uh, equation, then check it. And I was begging them, please check your answers, because you can know if you're right or wrong. I mean, on that whole test, you knew if your answer was right, or your answer was wrong. Like, there's no doubt if you just checked it. And I told you, please check, please check, please check. And I have, I don't know, 300% on there? Two? I don't know how many I put up there, but 100%. They knew they got 100% before they even gave it to me. That's the kind of confidence you get when checking. Because if I put this back into the original equation, um, that works. That must be the answer. No more doubts. All of these can be checked, and all of them you can say, yes, I got them, or no, I didn't get them. I could work something out. Um, do you do this in Algebra 1? Yeah. Algebra 2? Mm -hmm. Pre-calc? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, check. Check, 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 check. Yep. So is it always, whatever the number is um, equal to the variable, is it always going to be a negative number? No, not necessarily. Because both those numbers are negative. You, it could be a positive, it could be, there's so many varieties, but this is what you do. Look for the variable and undo what's happening to that variable. So if it was n minus 3 eighths, then you would change it. Add 3 eighths to both sides. So it would be positive still. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and do this one. And just be careful because um, decimal numbers uh, throw us off because we don't put the decimal point where it belongs. Yeah, be careful. It's 156 plus W equals negative 13.5. So they're not, one's a decimal, one's not. Hope, hopefully that helps you out. Okay, do you guys see the variable? It's W, right? What's happening to W? It's being added with 156. What undoes the addition of 156? Subtracting 156. So what should I do to both sides? 
subtract 156. Does that keep it balanced? I don't know. If you took away 156 from here and there, what happens? I got, I'm still balanced. You're allowed to do it. What's 156 minus 156? Zero. Zero. What's zero plus W? W. Oh, I get my variable by itself. Use two properties in one step right there. Are the properties helpful? I like them. You like them. Even if you don't know that, you do like them. Okay, but here you got to be super careful. It's negative 13.5 minus 156. So what are you really doing with those numbers? Adding. You're adding them. And do you just add them just the way they're written right here? Because they're both. Make sure you line up the decimal places. And you're adding, but your answer is going to be? 169. Sorry? Sorry? Negative. negative. It's going to be negative, whatever it is. So 5, 9, 6, 1, negative 1, 6, 9.5. Is that my answer? Check it. Everyone, check it. I need to see a check. Yes, ma'am. So, like, what does the check tell you? Like The check tells you, like, okay, if you put this number that you said was W, if you put it back in here, it is equals. this true? Okay. If you find out, wait, it doesn't equal what it says it's supposed to equal, then you know your answer is wrong. You could go back and redo it. Okay. Yeah, good question. So yeah, the check tells you you got it right, move on. Or you got it wrong, do something and change it because you didn't do the right thing. It didn't come out correctly. Now, guys, so far we've gotten some good equations, but it gets a little bit tougher. It really does. I know, I know. Pre-algebra. Um, yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, yeah, and then it'd be a negative answer. Yeah. Okay, how many of you, when you did 156 plus negative 169.5, you got negative 13.5? So if this were on the test and you got that answer and you checked it, do you worry whether you got it right or wrong? Yep. You're done. You got that problem right. Move on to the next one. All right, now we get... Subtraction equations, uh-oh. So we've been dealing with addition equations each time now, a subtraction equation. Use the addition property of equality. Uh, it was uh, William and Philip. William and Philip were here. Remember when they were just here, I was balanced. What happens when they were given a book? Each was given one book. We stayed balanced, right? Are you allowed to add the same thing to both sides and keep it balanced? Yes. So if A equals B, then A, does anyone know how, maybe I can finish this out using the addition property of equality. A plus C equals B plus C. What did I add to both sides? C. Am I allowed to do that? Yes, I am. Of course I am. Because it's equality. You're like, Mr. A, so you're telling me I mean, this is what you're saying. We had William and, and Philip. You can add two books to both of them and I'd be balanced? What's my answer to that? I added two books here and two books there. Is that allowed? What if I added 20 books to both of them? Am I still balanced? Yeah, I'm struggling right now, but it's balanced. Okay, it's uh, equal on both sides. You're allowed to do that. Okay, let's see how this works out. Go ahead and... How do you think to work this one out? It's z minus 1 tenth equals 9 tenths. So what do you think you should do to both sides? For? Oh, this one right here? There, there's no answer. This is just a property. Yeah, there's nothing to solve because all they have is variables. Sorry. But this one, yes, we can't get an answer. Okay, sorry. What's going on with Z on the left side? What's going on with Z? Yeah. It's being subtracted with one ten, one tenth, excuse me. What undoes subtraction of one tenth? So what do I do to both sides? Good, add one tenth. And guys, I've already said one, both sides, I don't know, five, six times. Just a few more today left. Actually, no, many more left today. Okay, what is, n ooh. What sign is this right here? Negative. It's negative. It's also a subtraction, subtraction sign. M wait, Mr. A, is it subtraction or is it negative? It is both. 
So what's negative one tenth plus one tenth? Zero. What's z plus zero? Z. All right, what's nine tenths plus one tenth? Ten tenths, which is equal to one. Is that really it? All right, let's see. Ten tenths minus one tenth equals? That is the answer. It checks. Oh, yes, ma'am? Sorry, I can't hear. I'm distracted. How did you get um, one tenth on, like, underneath the nine? Uh-huh. Yeah, because remember, there's negative one tenth. I have to add one tenth. So I plus a one tenth on one side. I have to plus a one tenth on the other. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, let's make life tougher or easier. How many of you like easier problems to do? Good. So do it that way. Okay. Now, whenever you have, whenever you have a negative or subtraction sign, Sometimes changing this from addition to subtraction might make it easier. And you're like, wait, how? Does anyone know how I could change this to subtraction? So is that possible to change it to subtraction? Um, Alex? You would like change the stay change opposite. Stay, change, what's the opposite of negative 29? Mm-hmm. Positive 29 right there. Now I need to ask you a deep question here. Those two equations, are they the same problem? Yes. Got two answers, two yeses. Anyone? Yes. Same problem? Yes, they are the exact same problem. You're like, wait, no, they're not. One's adding, one's subtracting. I am trying to get you. One of the goals, one of my 60 goals this year is to convince you somehow that subtraction and addition are almost the same thing. And I don't know. Maybe I'm doing that today. Maybe not. Maybe I'm saying, no, that can't be. Okay, let's work this one out. How do I uh, undo the subtraction of 29? I should add 29 to both sides. Keep it balanced. What's negative 29 plus 29? What's S plus 0? S, what's 46 plus 29? 75. Yeah, I think that's my answer, but I'm not really sure. Okay. What's 75 minus 29? 46. But guys, I rewrote the equation. Does it really work in the original? So I think S equals 75. What's 75 plus negative 29? Oh, it does work. Okay, you want life to be tougher? Yes, some of you said. Some of you said you want it, so I'll give it to you. What kind of equation is this? It's an addition. Addition. How do you undo addition? This is where life gets hard. If I worked it out this way, which I don't recommend you do, I would subtract negative 29 from both sides. Uh, What's positive negative, what's plus negative 29 minus negative 29? It's technically zero. Did you know that right off the top of your head? It's not super easy. But what I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So what's 46 minus negative 29? It's the same thing as 46 plus positive 20. Oh, look at that. Do you get the same answer? Yes. Which one was easier? First. Oh, the debate continues. Fine, you decide. Go, decide. You do it your way. You do your way, just be careful. So there are, there isn't just one way of doing these problems. There are actually multiple ways. Two main ways. You can do it either way. Check your answer. You can know for sure. Either you got it right or you got it wrong. But I don't like subtracting negatives. So don't. Okay. Did anyone rewrite it? Like you didn't work it out this way. Okay. Um, Natalie, what did you rewrite it into? A plus 9.2 equals 2. Oh, wow, that looks really easy. But are they the same? Are these two equations the same? Yeah, we call them equivalent. That means 
you work them out, you should get the same answer because they're both equal to one another. Uh, okay, so what do I do to solve this one right here? Okay, careful there. I subtract 9.2. Because if I subtract negative 9.2, it's like adding 9.2. So I, I think I know what you meant, but just make sure you say it correctly. I subtract 9.2. What's 9.2 minus 9.2? 0 plus a. a. Good, a. And then what's 2 minus 9.2? Ooh, I have two answers. Both of them seem nice. Which one's correct? There's only one. It can't be both. Okay, how do you know it's the answer, Darius? Because I checked. Okay, you picked which one? Well, 7.2. Say that again? 7.2. Negative. Negative, sorry. That's okay. I put it negative. Good, good. So, negative 7.2 minus negative 9.2. Uh-oh. I don't think that's... No, Stay... Change opposite. What's negative 7.2 7 plus 9.2? Two. This checks. Now, you're like, negative 11.2 minus negative 9.2. That's the other alternative. Um, stay, change, opposite. Does that work? Oh, I get negative 2. That doesn't work. All right, positive? Okay, let's try it. What's 11.2 plus 9.2? 20.4. Oh. This is minus? I mean, it was. It was minus a negative. So, yeah, see, there's only one answer you can figure it. I did. I wrote it under it. Since it was negative, I wrote positive 9.2. Oh, like positive 9.2? Under negative 9.2. Okay. But see, don't work it that way because technically you're supposed to say pos plus negative 9.2. That's, I, that's hard to do. I thought it was... Um, Sam, there, I'm going to help you out with those. These are tough. Okay, write this problem on the board. Don't do anything yet because this is the trickiest one yet. This is tricky now. This is where, I mean, you can figure it out, but if you're not careful, you get it wrong. And even when you check it, you think you got it right. It's not true. Okay, listen carefully. My variable A is not subtracting anything. It is being subtracted. Is subtracting from and subtracting the same thing? No. So you see how A is being taken away from 8? So that's different. This is a different type of problem. It's going to make you think a little bit. And some of you are going to get it awesome. Some of you are not going to get it. It's okay. Don't feel bad, but keep working on it and um, keep asking questions if you have any. Uh, normally, I would think this is a subtraction equation, right? Yeah, it's kind of addition too because you could state change opposite it. I'm going to do something that you may not have expected. I'm not going to add 8 to both sides. I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Now, before I... Am I allowed to subtract 8 from both sides? Yes. I am. It's allowed. It's proper. It's a proper T. But did that do what I wanted it to do? No. Look at this. What sign is next to the 8? Positive. Positive, right? What's positive 8 minus 8? Yeah. Don't these cancel out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but what are you left with on the right? Negative, Negative A. Negative A. That subtraction sign didn't go away because remember, A was being subtracted from. And one of my goals, as I've told you, is to make addition, sorry, subtraction really into addition. If I did that on this problem, it would have been easier to see that. All right, but anyway, let's see, because I may be totally off. Uh, what do I do? What's negative 3.5 minus 8? Isn't it really just adding them? It's a negative 11.5. Okay, ready? Yeah, I just added these two right here. Watch, watch what happens. This is kind of cool. All right, I got negative A equals negative 11.5. Did I get what A equals so far? I got what negative A equals, but I need to know what A equals. So if negative A equals negative 11.5, what do you think positive A equals? Yeah, it's just the opposite of that. That's my answer. Dun, dun, dun. Ugh.
Yeah, because look, oh, Mr. A, you went through this great process, but it could be wrong. Negative 3.5 equals 8 minus 11.5. Oh, man. Oops. So I have a, you could do a couple ways. Some of you do state change opposite. Find 11.5 minus 8, 3.5. It's a negative. Is that the answer? Is that the answer? Yes. It works. 11.5 minus 8, because remember, they're opposites. So we start, we get negative 3.5. It works. Yes, ma'am. That is exactly it. Yes. Then I get it. Yep, yep. Yes, ma'am. From. Yes. Yes, you could deal with a negative version of the variable. And here, how do I cancel out a negative, or sorry, a positive 8? Subtract 8. Is that, is that kind of hard to get through? Yeah. That's okay. Practice. Which some of you are going to be doing a lot of for the basketball team. But who? I don't know yet. Wait, y'all haven't decided? Oh, I, coach has decided. I am just a auxiliary. Um, help. And girls, you, well, were there any seventh grade girls who did it? No. Man. No basketball girls in here. That's okay. No bonus points for you. No, I'm just kidding. That's fine. Yeah, Michelle. What happened? Ugh. Okay. Um, this problem has a variable being subtracted from 19. Do you remember what to do with that? Subtract. What from both sides? 19. Subtract 19 from both sides. Subtract. Sorry? Why would you subtract? That's a great question. Here's what you're doing. Please listen up if you're like, I don't know why you keep doing this. What is going to get rid of positive 19? Negative 19. Negative 19. So that gives me what? What's 19 minus 19? Negative V. Zero. Which, what's zero minus V? Negative V. Negative V. That's good. That's it. And then 35 minus 19? 16. Good job. <laughs> but I don't have what V equals. I have what negative V equals. I want positive V. V Check now. Check. Because it could be, I mean, I'm just making something up, but check it. If it's right, it's good. If it's not, I'll change everything I just said. So check it. Check if negative 16 fits in that equation. Be careful. It's 19 minus negative 16 equals 35. Oh, that doesn't look like it's going to be right. Oh, it is right. Okay. And you know what happened? Okay, Gracie, you're, I'm going to use you as an example. Listen carefully. Gracie, uh, before this problem, was like, Mr. A, why are you doing this? Like, I don't get what you're doing. And now this problem, she gets a little bit more. You know what it took? Practice. It just, guys, the first time I explain it, if you get it, great. If you don't, you're, you're just like me. I wouldn't get it after the first time. <gasps> Last problem. Okay, let the problem hit you and then like get over that initial shock. Like, whoa, what's going on there? Okay, what's going on here is I still have two sides. I have this left side and this right side. Now, I'm looking at this left side and thinking to myself, what do you think I could do with those? What might. You could do state change opposite. You can just subtract them, yeah, just deal with them. Um, what would I get here? Well, you do two thirds minus one third, one third, nine minus four. Oh, okay. So I really get this. So you just subtract it. Yeah, just subtract it. Now, Mr. A, you didn't subtract from both sides. Did I? Not yet. I didn't have to because these are already being sub I'm just simplifying them. And then I can decide to add or subtract. I don't know. So what do I do to both sides in this problem? 
add two and one third to both sides. Very nice, very nice. Both sides. All right. What's five and one third plus two and a third? Seven and two thirds. Great. Oh, but guys, what's negative two and one third plus two and a third? Zero. Oh, and zero plus a? That's the answer. What's seven and two thirds minus two and a third? Five and a third. Okay. Say that again. Yes. Yeah. Because it's like this. Actually, great question. Hey, list it up before I give you before I give you that homework. Uh, when I had, you know how I said William and um, Philip? Was it William here and Philip there? Yes. Okay, what if I did this? I switched them. What happens to the balance? Same thing. So are you allowed to switch both sides of the equal sign? Yes. All right, there's your one. Oh, listen up. If you're putting those books away, make sure they go in the correct order, the right side up, so that the numbers aren't upside down or backwards or not there. Thank you. I like my work with